Speaking of the risk of hurricanes, new at 11 tonight, they're a big reason what's by far the largest insurer in Florida is seeking a double digit rate hike. Longtime Floridians know that Citizens was created to be the insurer of last resort, which once upon a time made it the most affordable. Those times, though, are long past. Citizen now backs more than 1.2 million homes, condos, and businesses statewide. And one big reason, it's not the most expensive. Since 2019, Citizens has been allowed to raise rates by 31%, while private insurance rates have gone up by a whopping 103%. That's a problem. Now, because Citizens is backed by the state, if disaster strikes and citizens can't pay, every single home and business in Florida could be on the hook. News 6's Catherine Silver breaks down the proposed rate hike and what it would mean for your bottom line. For citizens policyholders, it really feels like more of the same. Another year and another proposed double digit rate hike. And here in Florida, that means about a million people will likely be paying more for their home insurance next year. How much more? Citizens wants to raise all personal line policies about 14%. That covers homes, condos, and renters. This is a county by county estimate from citizens. The more than 30,000 homeowners in Orange County with multi peril policies would go from a current premium of about 2,500 to 2,900. Are these rates final? The answer is not yet. We got to this place because it's up to the Office of Insurance Regulation to make it official. They must approve the increases or ask citizens insurance to make changes before they go into effect next year. Thursday, the CEO addressed the OIR in Tallahassee. Nobody wants to face a rate increase, um, but we believe it's critical. We watched this virtually so we could give you some real perspective. Here's what else you should see for yourself. Since 2019, Citizens has only been able to raise its rates about 31%. Compare that to private insurers who have gone up 102%. And here's how much Citizens would need to increase their rates in order to return to the true state-backed insurer of last resort. Look at Brevard County, where the rate increase required to be on par with other insurers is over 140%. As a governmental uh, insurer of last resort, we should never be competing with the private market. Um, and that's sort of the situation we're in right now. Which is why state leaders want to shrink citizens, even if that means their customers pay more. They need to be at a level where they don't have too much risk exposure. Mark Friedlander works for the Insurance Information Institute. He's based in Northeast Florida. It's really bad for everybody in Florida because what that does is it increases the entire risk exposure pool for citizens. And if they were to suffer substantial losses, there's always the chance of them having to implement what we call a hurricane tax. What's the bottom line for everyone, whether you're a policyholder with citizens or not. The good news is the insurance industry in Florida is in its best financial position in nearly a decade. And that's great for consumers. So while it is likely another proposed rate hike for citizens, here's what has changed within the last year. The insurance industry has started to stabilize. Citizens CEO credits some of the reforms passed by state lawmakers. In Orlando, I'm Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6. Catherine, thank you.